eventually I got notified that it was my turn to come and to meet at a certain parking lot. I told Nick to change vehicles on the way to the lab. Get one car to drop us off, like at a medical building, and go out the back door and get a rented car. A lot of the art of making LSD involves not getting busted. Got to the house in Windsor, and Jill and I moved in. The first thing I did was draw up a flowchart that showed all of the steps in sequence. It's been a lot of years since I did this. LSD is lysergic acid diethylene, and lysergic acid is the ideal starting material. You're pretty much guaranteed to get busted if you try to acquire the chemicals and do this. Don't try this at home. The first step is to make something called lithium lysergate. He was a good friend and he was a good teacher and we trusted each other and we all go forward on the shoulders of the people who went before us. Meanwhile, we've previously made something called the reagent. I was pregnant at the time, and pretty far along, actually. We just kind of did the same thing over and over every day for, I don't know, at least a month. Generally, working in an acid lab, you do tend to get high. So we were in an altered state. You know, sometimes something's spoiling over on the hot plate, and you grab it and take it off, and you go, oh, mm, mm, wow, that's hot. Oh, no. I just took 2,000 mics of acid. Billy was sort of a lab groupie. He so much wanted to come to the lab that I let him come and work there for a couple of days. I worked around the lab. I ran some reactions myself. They were manufacturing somewhere between three and four million tabs. We were hoping that there would be a really fundamental change in the world's consciousness, that people would become more responsible, able to use technology more wisely, able to be gentler with the planet. We'd work until we dropped, and then we'd you know, sleep for a few hours and get up and get at it again. Yeah.